How does the Ultra Mont Blanc fit? That's the number one question that I've been getting from you guys. Before I answer that question, I'd like to break down the current Ultra trail running shoe lineup. Now let's start with the widest. And I'm not only talking about width, but also about the volume of a shoe. As most of you know, the Lone Peak and the Olympus have the so-called original fit, and they are considered Ultra's widest models, and even offer the Lone Peak in an even wider version. Now I heard it's not necessarily wider, but it allows more volume inside the shoe. I never ran in the wide version myself, but I have the link down in the description down below um, for Move More Now. James, he's also another Ultraholic. He also runs in a lot of Ultras, and he recently ordered the uh, Lone Peak 6 in wide. So check out that video later if you want to know more about the Ultra Lone Peak 6 in, in wide version and how it compares to the Ultra Lone Peak 5. Now the Lone Peak and the Olympus may be considered the widest models, but even runners like myself that just have regular wide feet uh, can also enjoy the shoes just as much. I just pull the lacing nice and tight and they feel great for me. I can run in them. It has a little bit more wiggle room, um, which I enjoy. I know that my feet like to swell up uh, when I run and uh, in the long run, my feet can really splay out. It's absolutely comfortable. I really like the width of the Lone Peak. It's not too big for me, but just looking at the shape of it, you can definitely see it's a little bit more clown shaped or a little bit curved around the toe box. And then Ultra offers some shoes in the standard fit. And these shoes are still foot shapes, as Ultra likes to call them. But the main difference is the volume that fits inside these shoes. I've heard and read many stories of runners with particularly high feet or voluminous feet that they can't fit inside the Timp or the Superior. They say that it's way too uncomfortable, that the upper is just too uncomfortable, there's not enough stretch there. So that's why some people prefer the Lone Peak or the Olympus. But there's one tip that I think a lot of people don't know about is that Alta also designs their shoes to be worn without the insole. So if you need that extra space, and these insoles are about five millimeters thick, if you need the extra space, you can just take out the insole and the shoes should be just as comfortable. I always run with the insole, so I don't know but uh, I've heard many people that do this and even Alta themselves say that the shoes can also be run without the insole. So if you ever think that you don't have enough space in the Tim or the Superior, just take out the, the insole and see how it feels like. And then you have the notorious Slim Fit, which not many Alta fans really enjoy. I think a lot of people who are new to Alta, they, they like it because it's a little bit more streamlined, it's less clown shaped. At first sight, it looks a little bit mainstream, but if you compare it to an Essex, to a Nike, to an Adidas, you'll definitely uh, see that the toe box is wider. But people that are used to Ultra and have been running in Ultra for a few years, they will definitely notice a difference that it's just not as wide and just doesn't offer the same amount of room. Currently, you only have the Rivera um, with SimFit and the upcoming carbon plated shoe, the uh, Ultra Vanish Carbon, will also be a slim fit. They are still foot shaped, but just slightly slimmer. So with these three fits, where does the Mont Black fit in? According to Ultra themselves, it's considered a standard fit, so in between. And in my previous video, I compared the insoles and it looked very similar to the Rivera, which surprised me a little bit, but that's only one part of the equation. So thinking about this shoe, the shoe is made for racing and this for racing fast. That means that the shoe needs to be a little bit more streamlined and less bulky. And that's why I think they made it less clown shaped. It's still wide and curved, like we know Ultra, but just less than the other models that we know. As you can see, the base is pretty wide and the insole basically shows the opposite. It's very narrow. But I think what's unique about this shoe is that the upper is very stretchy. Now this shoe, you can really widen, based on, uh, just based on your own uh, preferences, you can just lace it up and it wraps nicely around your foot. Here's the difference, so this is how I like to wear them, nice and tight, plus you can see people with wider feet, they'll easily fit in here as well. As you can see, there's plenty of space, so runners with high feet will easily fit in there. And as I said before, if you remove the insole, you have five millimeters extra space inside the shoe. Many people have asked me to compare the shoe with other Ultras, and I realized it's been kind of difficult because they're all a different shape. The Mont Blanc is based on its own unique shape. So in short, it is still foot shaped, just less curved as other Ultras, the magic is in the upper and in the lacing system. It offers plenty of space, so even runners with wider or more voluminous feet can really fit in there nicely. And even if you have regular feet or even narrow feet, you can put it nice and tight and it won't be too big for you. Now I know some of you are expecting shoes like the Lone Peak or the Olympus, and I think you'd be disappointed if you compare it to them. And if you think you still don't have enough space inside the shoe, just remove the insole, go for a run and see what, that's, what that is like. They are designed to also be running without the insole. So that's a quick overview of how the Ultra Mont Blanc fits. Let me know in the comments down below if you have the Mont Blanc and how you would compare it to other shoes. I didn't size up, I used the same sizing as I use all my Ultra uh, Trail shoes. They fit great, 
I had a good heel lock. I could pull it nice and tightly. My feet weren't swimming in there, but I felt I still had enough space for my feet to splay out a little bit during my run. So let me know in the comments down below if you still have any more questions. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.